date, date and time, but we'll keep everyone updated as we know more. Okay. Well, the storm that we can get started. Uh, for either Haley or D, just um, uh, the the message at halftime was what? Because it, it seemed like whatever was said at halftime worked because that third quarter was just kind of when you guys took off. Yeah. Um, I can, I can do it if you want. Um, well, Coach just came in and she was like this, <laughs> like dusting the rust off because we haven't played in like two weeks now. Um, so I think that was just it for us is just like being out there together and finally like getting back out on the court and just being confident in ourselves and knowing what we do and we know we've been practicing for the past two weeks on on this so we we got it and so yeah we just need to dust the rest off and yeah just how was that like first half was it just a matter of you know getting the kinks out yeah, I think kind of like similar to what Haley said, I think we were just excited to be back out there in front of our fans and for another opportunity to keep playing. So I think it's it's always nerve wracking um, for either team. So we just want to win. And um, but yeah, we just came off second half and started playing more like us. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure if this was really the turning point or not coach, but it seemed like that offensive foul on like Lauren when like mm -hmm. you really got heated and charged. <laughs> that I, I think from there, I think you guys finished on like a 22 to 7 run. Mm -hmm. Just what what did that do to you and, and, and maybe for the team? Yeah, we believe uh, in, you know, really sacrificing in uh, ourselves and, and we believe in toughness and, and playing the game, you know, with everything that we have. And so I thought that was a great moment uh, where, you know, someone steps up and sacrifices their body. Uh, and it, it always excites our team to see a charge and to see a teammate, you know, really, um, you know, be tough like that. And so. Um, yeah, I always think those are big moments for us. But you guys didn't really get the chart. I think you, you were, you were just, active. I'm going to send my quote. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, it, it was a great um, effort at a charge. Is that, that's probably more politically correct. <laughs> uh, I thought you were calling it a charge. <laughs> no. Good to assist for you guys tonight. Can you just talk about the importance of just sharing the basketball and a lot of unselfish play out there? I think we've said this about this team so much. Like they're really selfless. We were overly selfless in the first half. I mean, we were passing up shots that we are, are that are our strengths, you know, and that's what we talked about. And you know, when you you practice for two weeks, you're. You, you know, you're looking at how do you get your absolute best shot at your offense all the time. But there are good shots along the way that you should take. And so, um, but I do love the way we share the ball and the way that we want um, want to get the best shot we can. And then over, over 10 to start the game from deep and then 5 or 10 to end it. Can you just talk about the importance of just continuing to go back to that shot and just the confidence there? Yeah. Um, no, I think that was kind of what we said earlier, just knocking the rest off. Um, we know we can shoot. We've been in the gym for the past six months just getting our shots up so I think it was definitely just being confident in each other and just like telling each other like shoot it or just being confident in ourselves so yeah did you feel that, that you guys had a um, size advantage and if so like how did you guys try to ex explo exploit that deal? um yeah I think it was obvious we had the height advantage I think we just kind of wanted to pick on their post a little bit, try to push them out, um, but also be in a lot of gaps. That also helped a lot. Um, I think just offensive and defensive rebounding at the end of the day, um, just trying to out-rebound them. Um, yeah. Like. 27 points off your bench tonight. Can you just talk about a little bit of the points of like kind of not skipping a beat when other, other individuals get in there? Yeah, I think Haley said it really well about how hard the team's been working. And so just through the last – Week and a half. I don't know if it was a whole two weeks. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Felt like uh, it. She's like, we've been practicing for a month. No. Um, so, you know, you could see the growth. You could see the growth uh, of each individual player. And so when each person got an opportunity, yeah. they were ready because of how hard they worked the last week and a half. Hey, um, early in the like, game, did you, was like the plan offensively to, to, milk the shot clock down <laughs> the, the, now again just yeah. not knowing the game play but it, yeah. it seemed like you guys were like really waiting late into like the shot clock before yeah. getting the shots out well, I have two things about that. One is I do think that we that's what we were mentioning, like a little overly unselfish when we started and passing up, which were good shots for several of our players and trying to get that great shot, and that's the unselfishness of our team. This is a really good team in transition, and, you know, they're going to try to score usually in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock, and they force you into shooting a lot of threes the way they defend because they pack in so much. And so we fell into that a little bit at times, and at times, you know, we try to run our offense and then 
we waited way too late at times to do that. So I think we found our rhythm in, in pushing and, and then, you know, taking an earlier open shot. Haley came out and did that right away out of the half and um, and then, you know, using our offense when we needed to to get layups and, and make uh, better decisions. Um, how hard is that for, like you did, because it seems like in that high post that you could take that mid-range shot almost any time you want, but a lot of times you're looking to yeah. pass and assist. Well, like you guys said, like we had how many? Fifteen assists. Yeah, yeah. So I think like we know we have certain shots. Some shots are better than others, and I think I'm just trying to get my teammates involved. And when I have it at the right time, I know like when to take it. And my and my team, my coaches have a lot of confidence in me. Um, but you know, we're just trying to get the best shot we possibly can because we know they're going to give us that all game. So. And um, do you know anything about? New Mexico. Oh, one game at a time, person. You know, <laughs> you know me. <laughs> uh, you know, but just how um, I guess excited to like know that you have another home game. I think we were excited in the locker room yeah. to be together. Longer. Yeah, and just yeah. to be in front of our fans again, because mm -hmm. I think like we have really good fans, and they all showed out today again, yeah. and we're just really excited to get back out there and play in front of them again. We we love being home. <laughs> Last thing for me, as a group, what do you guys feel like you need to do, like just together, to make a run at this thing and just kind of continue to play? Our philosophy is to trust the process. It's just the next uh, practice will be the most important thing that we do this season. And so just coming ready for practice and ready to scout. It's it's our, our first time in postseason in a while. And so understanding the turnaround time, the recovery, they're going to go to ice baths. That's really important. Um, you know, but. The next thing, and not skipping steps. I think we've learned that this season. That you know, when we've gotten a little excited about how we're playing or something that's going on, and if you skip a step, it really does hurt you in the, in the next phase. And so we just want to be prepared physically and mentally. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.